If you're interested in art and history, there's a little known museum hidden on Tucson's east side of town that you have to check out. With a permanent and a rotating show, the Tucson Desert Art Museum is an amazing place to visit again and again. Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent here in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about one of Tucson's hidden gems, the Tucson Desert Art Museum. Not to be confused with the Desert Museum, or the Tucson Museum of Art and Historic Block. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along with Tucson News and learn more about things to do and see and know about the city, my hometown. And when you're ready to buy or sell a Tucson home, all my contact information is in the description below each video on the channel. And of course, remember that we have over 100 videos out about Tucson and real estate on this channel. Some of what I say in this video will be verbatim from the Tucson Desert Art Museum's website, which we have linked in the description below. Featured first in the museum are the beautiful displays of Navajo weaving. Intricate patterns woven by hand cover the walls of the museum with authentic Navajo rugs. These textiles were woven by hand into different shapes and sizes for different utilitarian purposes and were used for blankets, cloaks, dresses, and also saddle blankets. Hand-woven commercial production of rugs and blankets is still a very important economy for the Navajo people and the intricate patterns are what make these works of art. The patterns seem to get more bold and intricate as you move through the museum. You get to see a great example of the type of looms used to weave the rugs, and this enables you to really get a feel of how delicate the work is. There are also some beautiful works of pottery and sculpture alongside the Navajo textiles. Also displayed are artifacts from the Spanish settlers that brought Catholicism to the Southwest United States. There are some very intricate works of silver here, as well as a display honoring Father Kino, who established the site of what is now the oldest European structure in Tucson, San Javier del Bac, which we have a video out about, so check that one out after this one. The museum has quite a contrast of exhibits as we move to the American landscape painters. The original works have inspired generations of artists to pick up their brushes and push the limits of detailed artistry, which can be seen carefully placed all around the museum. The next exhibit, titled The Dirty Thirties, features features New Deal photography that captures the stories of migrants from the Dust Bowl during the 1930s. Thousands of farmers left their home in search of work and escape from the Midwest during the dust storms and drought that severely damaged the agriculture and ecology of the mismanaged farmland. Migrants fled to Arizona and California to work in the cotton fields. Contrasting with the striking photography, there are floor-to-ceiling murals in the hallways. These vibrant and striking works are from Native American muralists. We also have the American Women Uncovered exhibit, which offers insight into the lives of early pioneer women throughout the evolution of their undergarments. I could see some of these styles coming back in our modern times, definitely. There's an uncomfortable exhibit here that details America's past and explains the Japanese incarceration camps that were put into place during World War II. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, through his Executive Order 9066, forced approximately 120,000 Americans of Japanese descent, a large majority of whom were American citizens, to leave their homes and property and spend the majority of World War II incarcerated in camps. These camps were located primarily in the interior of the American West, including the Gila River War Relocation Center near Phoenix, the Poston Internment Camp located in Yuma County, and the Federal Honor Camp located in the Santa Catalina Mountains outside Tucson. The Buffalo Soldiers exhibit is beautifully painted by David Laughlin and portrays daily life for African-American soldiers serving in the post-Civil War American West. Through his paintings, drawings, and block prints, artist David Laughlin depicts the 10th Cavalry Regiment's daily activities while stationed in Arizona from 1885 to 1896. With the U.S. government pushing for Western expansion, the Buffalo Soldiers' tasks ranged from from building outposts and laying telegraph lines to protecting settlers, stagecoaches, and railroad crews, and fighting Native Americans, outlaws, and rustlers. Their days were full and difficult, however, their military service offered them a chance to obtain better rights as citizens in the recently liberated United States. Moving on to a bit lighter subject. If you like historic maps, this museum has an impressive collection of vintage maps from the great map makers of the New World. It's 
seems wild today to think that maps used to be hand-drawn. The Celebrity Landscapes and Cinema exhibit shows how Southwest landscapes were used in film and television. More than mere backdrops, these landscapes, including Monument Valley, the Imperial Sand Dunes, Lake Powell, the Moab area, and the Sonoran Desert surrounding Tucson, have become familiar, even iconic, through their supporting roles in film, featuring video clips, stills, and behind-the-scenes photography. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not that much of a gift shop person, but the gift shop here at the museum has some really cool, authentic gifts that are truly works of art. This isn't your ordinary gift shop, since you can buy original art and crafts here. The gift shop is always open to the public during business hours. We were lucky enough to be allowed to film the Four Corners gallery and gift shop thanks to the marketing manager. Usually, photography is prohibited. This gallery is truly a hidden gem if you're looking for original Southwestern art to decorate your home. If you're a collector, there are so many styles and mediums to browse to find that perfect piece. Many of the works are done by local artists here in Tucson, so it's a very special place for us locals. Check out the Tucson Desert Art Museum's website for a full list of the artists featured in the gallery. The link will be in the description below this video. If you are into custom jewelry, there is an amazing collection here of the Southwestern variety, plus much more. There is something here for just about anyone. I hope you've learned a little bit about the Tucson Desert Art Museum, and we hope you can make it to the east side of town to check out this hidden gem. If you're interested in buying or selling a home here in Tucson, Arizona, give me a call. I'd love to help you out. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel, and there are tons of other videos on this channel about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. Comment below with your experiences at the Desert Art Museum, and don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out the door. I appreciate you hanging out with me today, and I will see you in the next Tucson video.